Put them down, uh, cleaning out the backstop and rebuilding it. This is on my 100 yard range. You know, it's made out of ties, you know, old railroad ties in the ground and then ties behind it with an open spot in the middle that I put the targets in front of. And I use a piece of this particle board, you know, this OSB, which is really horrible stuff. I can't believe they built buildings out of this. But anyway, I use a piece of that in the back and then it's full of sand. Well, as I shoot, this stuff just disintegrates and eventually the sand all runs out here. Well, we had a good rain again last night, so I am uh, pulling sand down and sorting the bullets out because I get a lot of lead this way. You know, I, I just keep reusing it over and over. And then when the sand gets down here, now I've got tobacco up here, park it over here and I can just you know, put in a new piece of OSB back here because like I say this old stuff is a shot and then throw sand this sand back over the top again so any bullets that I miss will end up in the backstop again anyway you know I just keep recycling it but I get a lot of lead and, and some of these you know when you're thinking 4570 or 45 auto that's a big chunk of lead, so you can get a, quite a pile of them. Oh, I'm sure I'll get this bucket pretty near full out of here. You know, and it's good, easy to melt down again. But like I say, when I pull this stuff down, if I miss any, no biggie because it'll just recirculate and I'll get her back again later. But that makes good use of that lead. You know, if you keep using it over, it gets to the point where you kind of, I hate to, to shoot without a backstop, you know, because then I am wasting that lead. You know, I like to be able to recover that. Because that's, you know, a valuable commodity. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with her using it. I still get a lot of these steel cord bows and ones turn up all the time, though I haven't shot any of them for a while. They're still, you know, recirculating. Got a lot of 45 though, and that is a big chunk of lead. But it's easy enough to do when I have to do it, you know, because over winter, this is froze. Well, in spring now when it thaws, that's the time to rebuild her and get my lead back. But that that OSB that I use as the sand barrier and then I have one on the outside that I use to hold the targets, uh, you're lucky if you can get a year out of them. You know, the, it works kind of good in that, you know, you can put a bullet hole through it and it doesn't shatter and it still holds the sand back to a certain extent. I should actually double that up maybe on the back side. Use two pieces of that OSB. Yeah, there's a nice 4570. That's where the lead is in the big calibers. It's easy to, to sort it out from the sand too. I mean, you can feel them right away. But I gotta go back ah, about two feet, really, because some of them really go back in there. But every time it rains, you know, like even now this pile here, you know, you think you get them all out of there. If this sits and it gets rained on, all of a sudden, whoop, there'll be a whole bunch more lead. He just turns up.
that'll do her. What I've got is two layers of this type of OSB on the inside. I've doubled it up thinking, well, maybe I can get a couple years out of it. You know, the thing about OSB, you know, it's uh, wafers, you know, put together. There's a lot of fibers in it, so when a bullet goes through, it can go through, but yet the fibers kind of close up and the sand doesn't run out. So until it gets really chewed up, it, it holds the sand back. But what I did here, you know, I put the two layers, and then behind it, I had that one ratty old piece, I put that in there, you know, just to get more fibers. Uh, hopefully that'll hold. Oh, I'm hoping I can get a couple years out of it instead of, you know, normally it's every year I got to rebuild it. But then I put another on the outside. that I can staple the tarps to. And the funny thing about it, I have found that a very seldom will a bullet that has a gas check on it keep the gas check through the OSB. They'll usually shut them when they go through the OSB. And it's because of all them fibers. put this in too well because I gotta be able to replace this because this eventually gets tore up you know where you can't find a good place to put a tar target on anymore so these I just use this staple hammer and try to get it in the center so that I know I'm gonna get them bullets all the way through if you get off the side of course you hit the uh, the ties and I'd have to burn a tie to recover them bullets. Well that's ready to go.